What is going on, YouTube? Best replay back here with another episode of Homefront the Revolution. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, everybody. I've been uh, quite inactive in the past few days as, um, what, uh, better? Work better? Okay. I've been quite inactive the past few days because of, uh, plenty of, um, just a bunch of drama going on in life here, so. There's that. Um, Overwatch, I wanted to talk to you guys about as we're sitting here playing this interesting game. Overwatch finally came out, came out yesterday. I've been playing that lately. Haven't been on Xbox very much in the past few days as I've been doing things with getting rid of these JTAGged consoles and things like that. I just I had them for a while. It was fun exploiting and modding games, but you know, it's just, it's costly. For all you people out there that think it's, like, cool to have a JTAG, it's not really. As it's like... It's like 375 now for every time you get banned. You don't have a cool server, you get banned like... Your console banned like every 10 minutes. Constantly banned to get something. Then when you look back, after like 3 months doing all that, you're like, man, all that money I could have put that on something else. So, uh, I've been trying to get rid of those. Alright, let's get into this. So, we all know that I I have uploaded in the past previous previous videos of Prison Architect, which is finally coming out of game preview in the next few weeks, and will be officially launching. I have read that they are coming out with a DLC first hand on that called um, a All Days and a Night. That's what it's called? It's kind of an interesting game. And, um, The Divisions is also coming out with a game. It's, it's very quite interesting. I probably should, uh, check something. Mm -hmm. start doing videos on Overwatch for all you people out there that don't know what Overwatch is. Overwatch is a uh, it's almost like Titanfall only it's not simultaneous robots fighting each other. You've actually got different characters with different abilities there's offense, defense, medics um, attack characters you know there's six it's a six on six game now, I don't remember where I was at since my buddy like got on here and just started doing a bunch of shit I was for sure we were over here. I'm pretty sure we were over here because this was a new area. We already took out the going AWOL thing. We already took this stupid thing out. Did all that already. Huh. Get this really quick. And go see if we can't load that. Other mission. Pretty sure that's where it was at that we saved it. it was over at that time frame. Might have been that I couldn't save there because of God knows what. Huh. It's interesting. No, it says that's it. Alright, well we'll do we'll do this over again, going a wall and all this stuff. It'll be quite a long video. You know, I'm sure you guys are up for it all. I've been hearing a lot of, around the GTA 5 forums that uh, Rockstar is developing a new game. They got a few positions that they, they're looking to fill for a possible new game. Pretty sure it's going to be Red Dead Redemption 2. Finally, after all these years that game's been out and they, you know. Um, I know it's supposed to come at some point backwards compatibility with Xbox One, 
as you know, all those top favorite games like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, are all requested first, but these games that are from like 06 show up instead before popular games. As we go back into this here, do it all over again. Whoa. Yeah. That was amazing. Um, I think the rock star is supposed to say something for all you people out there that haven't listened, or maybe perhaps you're wondering when the Xbox E3 is. That is coming up in June 13th on a Monday. It is. They're supposed to announce all these new game franchises, probably a bunch of new things. Also, back to this thing. I've been wanting Xbox or developers, uh, you know, you see them on Steam, they come out with all these cool games that allow you to, you know, run a business or control Prism, much like Prison Architect, but then I actually look into it and you only see Prison Architect is the only one on the Xbox store in forever that allows you to actually run something like you're, like the CEO of a company or something, you call the shots, all that. I've always wanted a game on Xbox to come out where you actually get to run something. Nothing like Supreme Commander or anything. We can use the customs office to monitor KPA shipments coming into Philly by sea. I'm sure that information will prove valuable to the resistance. Great work capturing those strike points. Hello? Tone, this is Tony, we need immediate help. Tone, Tone! Does anybody have Tony's last location? Shanice here. We're en route now. Hurry! Well, that's cool. I never knew you could do that. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. So, I'm not too sure. Alright, so, earlier today, I just so happened to be playing this game. It was just so interesting. I was totally gonna hit that dude from a long shot, you know. Totally gonna happen with a 
What is this? Pistol is air. Air burst. Okay, for all you people out there, this this mode right here isn't all that hard. All you have to do is just do some shit. I have to switch back to the old pistol version. I only killed like three times. Alright, so that's basically all you have to do. Then you just have to go up here and talk to this one guy. And then you have to go over there and walk through a creepy tunnel. And then there you go, you're into the new area. Some of them aren't dead. Norks captured them and have taken them to Earlston Yellow Zone. We have to try and rescue them to find out where Walker's being held. Okay, I'm heading to Earlston now. Can you come meet me? You strike me as a man who gets results. I'm marking the tunnel location on your map. I'll see you there. I'd have to say the worst thing about this game is the simple Brady fact that every Irish. time you do something, it freezes. That told me you really helped him out. I'm glad I was right about you. He says you had no Earlston, so I got to warn you that Norks have ID'd you. Bike. Your name's all over the news. Bike. Pyongyang Polly's telling bike everyone you're a murderer. You have to be really careful, okay? That can fill you in when you see him. Quite a little ways to run right now. Should be a far away to run. Uh, Airship's on the way in. Better make yourself scarce. I'm working on it. Don't tell me twice. What should we do? Of course, we have to right there. Why there's an airship on the way in? All right, so we're just gonna go over here, take this bike, and hurry up. We can get out of here. We have to go pretty far across the map. Cross under and over. This way, we go here. We're gonna end up going into this. Let's get the bike. Just happen to be in the middle of the road for no reason. 
Johnson and Ron Blake. Here, we'll go over here. We need this thing. And this is where my YouTube video should have originally started today by recording. 15 minutes ago, we should have already been in this new place starting this new mission, and so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep an eye on what's around me right now as there is a lovely storm moving in. How will it all just so happens to be going all to the east? I mean, west. Oh man, I might honestly start getting back into the, the divisions to see what's new, but I got bored of that game so easily. I mean, it was fun running around, but the world is just so massive, it takes so long to move across the map. Oh my god. Okay, this is where I was earlier. What about this quadrant? Welcome to Earlston YZ. Hey Brady. We managed to get a real foothold in Elm Tree thanks to you, and yeah, that's let us force a route through into here, Earlston Yellow Zone. Just in time, too. My guys are being held at the police station, and God only knows what the Norks are doing to them. We gotta get them out before they give up any information. But here's the thing. This is Yellow Zone. That means heavy security. And what's worse, the KPA are hunting you, Brady. And I won't lie. It's going to be hard just to move around, never mind mount a rescue. But we got no choice. First thing you do, you hide your gun. Then you have to use the civilians as cover, try to blend in. There'll be a KPA transceiver in the zone. I suggest you make that your first target. But before you go, we got a few tricks up our sleeves. Look upstairs on the table. I think you'll find it very useful. Good luck, Brady. Hmm. Counting on you. Is it a cupcake? I'm a little bit hungry right now. Oh my god. That pisses hey, me Brady. off so much. What if the you're heading out, we got some firecrackers oh. you can take. Distraction. Like them for making a distraction. In the yellow zones, KPA forces will recognize you as a wanted man and trigger the global alarm. In order to avoid detection, ensure you keep civilians between you and any soldiers and stay out of sight of cameras, vehicles, and drones. Engaging in combat will also set off the alarm. If the alarm is raised, the KPA will begin hunting you down for as long as the alarm remains active. If you can break line of sight, then the alarm level will begin to reduce, but you can accelerate the cooldown by using hide spots. Be warned though, you can't enter a hide spot while in line of sight of KPA forces, and no safe house will let you enter at all while the alarm is active. Once the alarm level reaches zero, the alarm stops and the pursuit will end. Distraction devices are especially useful here. Throw them to move enemies out of your path or to confuse them while you make your escape. Awesome. Okay, so I'm not too stealthy. We're supposed to go to a police station? Good to see you. What the fuck? Just another day, huh? Random guy sitting right there. Fucking freak. Where's the wall at? You don't scare me, asshole. Looking to party? No, not really, to be honest with you. Alright, so it's supposed to give me mean, three of the prisoners. This shit. Great job, Brady. Every act like this brings us more recruits.
<laughs> Where are we? Oh man, we're just right down the road too. Shit. Fuck me, man. Where's this thing he speaks of? There's all the there's the area we did. This is the yellow zone. Red zone, yellow zone. So I assume our next place will be someplace else, I guess. Trying to do that, oh my god, my hands are shaking. In order to start a revolution, you need to persuade ordinary people to join the fight. The map shows your progress towards inspiring the district to rise up and the five different categories of actions that will contribute to your total. These are strike points which must be captured. Voice of Freedom, where you tune radios to the resistance station. Sabotage, where you destroy KPA infrastructure. Acts of liberation, such as saving people from police brutality, and finally destroying the APCs that patrol the streets. In addition to raising hearts and minds, you also earn KPA tech points which can be used to buy weapon conversion, guerrilla toolkit deployment methods, and new kit items. Once hearts and minds reaches 100%, you can activate the broadcasting of resistance propaganda across the district. This will cause the people to rise up and allow <laughs> so access to the KPA's KPA. key strongholds in the district. Brady, it's Ned. So... Nice job getting the intel on the district. Now we know what we're up against. You can see the police station where they're holding my guys, but there's no way we can mount a rescue at the moment. The Norks have total control. We need to change that. We have to get the people on our side. Appeal to their hearts and minds. With them behind us, our rescue stands a chance, and once we get the info on Walker, we can make our move. Looks like a Goliath. I gotta get back to the armory before some damn fool blows it sky high, but I'll stay in touch. Good luck, Brady. He said it before some damn fool blows it sky high. <laughs> that was amazing. Alright, so we're gonna go, we're gonna start by getting liberation started. Hang on, that's a little 
box down here, as you can see the camp is not working. Interesting. Or if I can shoot the camp, I just Curtain threat threat level is low. That's what that is. Be vigilant. Terrorists may be operating in this district. Okay, so. start with on this as we as you guys can see we've taken out everything almost everything I want to figure out what all we need to do to get this area red is it this the police station blocked until heart and minds is complete so that's the police station then what if we start by getting rid of all these things Okay, I'll have to look into all these. Alright guys, I'd like to thank everybody for taking their time to watch today's video. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next video, which will show us all tr working on heart and minds and take making this area blue, taking out the strike points in Earlston Yellow Zone.